High School Life. <laughs> so as I said, our personality for tonight is an amazing person. He's a TikTok star. He's not just a TikToker. He's a TikTok star. He's a brand influencer. He's an actor. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Um, thank you for joining us. I am really glad to host this show with you. Yeah. I hope you are fine. And how was your day? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, my day was good. Good to yeah. hear. Okay, so how let's, let's move on to the main business why we are here. We don't really have much time, so I'll try and double up so that we can end very soon. So, what is your actual name? Because we know your handle is Crinton Cummins. I don't know whether I'm getting the pronunciation right, but then that is what we mean. So, what is your actual name? Yeah, my name is Asamoah Michael. Hey. My actual name is Asamoah Michael. Okay, so where is the Crinton from? Am I getting the pronunciation right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. where is the Crinton from? Uh, Crinton is my brand name, like a nickname, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So tell us about yourself. Who is Michael Asamoa? Yeah, Asamoa Michael is a content creator and a brand influencer. Yeah, I'm a student of UW. Yeah, level founder student. Okay, yeah. please, what, what is UEW? Because not everybody knows. Yeah, University of Education, Winneba. Oh, okay, okay. So, today's um, program is more or less like senior high school experiences. So, which yeah. senior high school did you attend? I attended Oyoko Methodist Senior High School, found in Koforidia, Oyoko. Oh. Are you from Koforidia? No, I just school there. I'm not from Koforidia. Okay, is it that you chose the school or it was given to you? <laughs> <laughs> was it given to you or you just chose it? Yeah, it was given to me. I mean, that was the school that uh, I was placed to. Okay. So, in general, how would you rate your senior high school experiences on a scale of good, better, best? Uh... Good, uh, I'll say better, yeah, better. better. I'll choose better. Okay, so share with us some of your good memories from senior high school. Um, you see, um, one of the memories that always sets in mind is, uh, you see, when uh, form one comes to school, you see, all the seniors want to show off, like, they want to show, like, their hand. They did there before they arrive in, so they should give them the maximum respect. Try to write your name on your trunk for you just to take some small coins from your parents and all of that. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I forgot this when I was asking for your actual name. When did the sister Prisla come in? Because I know you've been using it for most of your videos. The name Prisla. Yeah. Is it like it's your girlfriend's name or your mother's name or? <laughs> the Prisla, the Prisla is just a name for my character. Yeah, my girlfriend is not Prisla, and I've not dated a girl called Prisla before. It's just random just name, just random. random. Name. Yeah. Okay. So you just shared with us some of your good memories from school. Can you also share with us your worst experiences in school? Ah. Uh, Worst, 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 worst. Um, you see, um, normally break times are not enough for us. Me, I think break times are not always enough because how can you go to break like nine thirty and close like ten? No, it should be extended small because uh, the dining, the bodies have to go for dining the house. The day students also have to go to the canteen, and you see the canteen too is choked. So. You go to canteen and break is over. You have not finished it. The teachers will come there to come and cane you. Go back to class. Whereas, I mean, who did you use? No club, you ran in the school. <laughs> okay, so uh, were you a day student or you were a brother? I was a brother. I was a brother. But then, the canteen for me, no, me, no, boy. 
<laughs> yeah. So when did the TikToks come in place? Did he start doing TikToks in school or it was after senior high school? And then where yeah. did you get your inspirations from? Yeah, it was after school. Uh, years after years back after school self. Yes. And the inspiration was um my things that I brought home. I mean, I brought everything that I sent to school. I always say I'm the only person who went to high school and brought high school home. Yeah, so oh, I my... brought high school home. You're not the only person. <laughs> we are in this together. <laughs> okay. So my trunk, my <laughs> chopper, my books, my Asiat card, house JC, everything. I still have uh, that thing, the thing that we put on the shirt, the woody or something. I don't know how they call it. Uh, though, that... The cardigan. Yes, more cardigan. So everything is just home. So looking at all those things around me, I was like, no, why don't I start something like that? Why don't I start school thing? Yeah, so I, I would say that thing really got me and that's in the video is here. So are the uniforms, the uniforms you use for the videos, are they the ones you brought from school or you get them specially for these videos? Yeah, at first it was the one that I brought from school, but along the line, I changed it to my own costumes, yeah. Okay. So I'm taking you back to senior high school again. Did you hold any position back in school? No. Or were you the quiet type? I was the quiet type, like, I was the quiet type. <laughs> oh, so you were really quiet in school? Yeah. I was really quiet. So uh, where did you gain this sudden confidence from? Because not this, everybody has. This is the question. Of a camera, be acting all up like you do. Yeah, this is a question that me, myself, I keep asking myself, like, where from all, like, hey, me of all people, I know <laughs> if my friends here will testify, because it is, actually, you know, they're not so you're quiet too, but I don't know, I'll be asking myself, hey, where from this, oh, okay, let me put it in this, it's just the creativity in me that gets me doing more, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, since you didn't hold any position back in school, would you advise anybody to go in for positions um yeah i will advise people or the young companies to go in for positions because it actually put you know we are we are trying to build a portfolio so if you have a position way back in school or you want to go for a position it's a good niche to go for yeah even though i didn't go for any position or whatever do but i would advise whoever is coming up or advising for a position to go for it yeah okay so we've been seeing many students who are also tiktokers i mean they do videos while in school they do videos when they are home would you advise that they should continue doing these videos while in school or they should wait to complete senior high school before they start doing their videos yeah, I will advise them to not do videos at school because um, uh, doing videos doing videos is kind of addictive. You can be addicted. Like a day if you don't do it, then you you'll be like, ah, it seems I'm losing something. Yeah, so it can be addictive. So I will advise whoever is coming or who is in school now doing videos to, I mean, pause mm -hmm. and focus. Once you are done with school, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, because it can be addictive. I mean. <laughs> Talking from experience. <laughs> but then you weren't doing videos while I was in school. Yeah, I, I'm home now and it is getting me. Like, I always <laughs> do videos. Just imagine, you're a student and you're in school and you're doing videos. Like, yeah. you okay, so this is a question many people ask. I wanted yeah. it to be the last question, but then let me just ask. Do you believe in the fact that people some students are naturally gifted to be brilliant and then others are the opposite or you just have to learn to be brilliant what's your take on that that certain people are naturally gifted to be brilliant or we just have to study to be brilliant and others are the opposite um some people are naturally brilliant you can't 
take that from them because I, I am a student here. I was a bachelor student. Some people are gifted. I mean, you can just look at you once and just do a copy of you on paper, right? But on other note, to other people also practice to draw, to become perfect. So I would say people, some people are naturally born or gifted to be brilliant. You can't take it from them. I'm a dream we be, yeah, we'll be reading it 10 times and say that when you're born, we'll be reading it one, I can't even, you get it, yeah. So I forgot, which course did you offer in senior high school? Yeah, I did visual arts. I was a visual arts. Is it that you chose it or it was given to you? <laughs> no, I, I, I actually chose it. I like You chose it. it because you were good at drawing or you just like the course. You are good at no. drawing. Yeah, I'm good at editing and those stuff. Like the passion is there for those things. Okay, okay. So you can draw very, very well. Oh, I can't draw very well, but I can draw. <laughs> I'll bring me my I'll bring you my picture for you to draw me. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Okay, so was your school a mixed school or a single sex school? My my school was a mixed school. Okay. So you had several experiences of people in relationships and people dated and all. So what's your take on yes. senior high school dating and relationships? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> okay fine you see um teenagers say eh, your homos are always i mean how do i say it? your homos are now coming or building up so those kind of intimate feelings there yeah, it comes like that but you know eh, after school <laughs> <laughs> after school you realize that oh that was just a joke or i mean because if you're in high school and people are dating you don't you don't date or you don't go for a girlfriend they see you to be you, you don't know what's up or something do you yeah. get it uh -huh. but then it's not worth it i mean it's not worth it yeah but then there are some other relationships which started in senior high school and then they are couples now they are married so yeah. what advice that people should start being in relationships in senior high schools or you still maintain the fact that they should wait? Um, you it's what should I say? It's a calling if it calls you <laughs> if it calls you to join them, you can join them. Why not do? Yeah, and um once it works for A, it doesn't mean that it's work for B. So I mean, yeah, you should think of that too, yeah. Okay, so which year did you write your WASI? 2015. Was it difficult? Most of the students here uh, are going to write WASI very soon. And they think, yeah. is WASI difficult? Is it difficult? Do you think it's difficult? How is oh, it? WASI, if, if you have learned, I mean, just make sure they, they have completed their syllabus. So if you have learned the yeah, no matter what, the panic is there. Even if you are prepared, for the panic is there. Uh -huh. So you just have to prepare very well and just build your confidence and go for it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So what advice would you give to a WASI candidate? Yeah, my advice is um, you've went to school from um, um, Form 1 to Form 3. This is the last minute or the last... I mean, it's, uh, final exams for you to clear out from school. So, just put your all. Just learn, please. Go back and learn, learn everything, and just go and sit down and rip. That is all. Yeah. Don't don't send any foreign material, yeah, because it's your last your last exam, and if something like that happen, a bit how you but yeah. So just learn, prepare, and go and write your exams peacefully. Yeah. Okay, so what are some things you did back in school and then you later regretted? Mm. Uh, I've not regretted it. You've, so you were a good boy in school? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> okay, so what are the things some people did, some of your friends and your classmates did in school that you'd advise all the students not to do? Um, to escape escape wars to go and place bets like what the fuck like excuse me <laughs> <my. laughs> 
how can you how can you go to town just to go and place bets and come back and just i mean you see this high school people and we are so passionate about money 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 like yeah, uh, because, everyone but, money. Uh -huh, the word is on the streets like hustle hustle so meanwhile you are you are a young boy coming up what, where, <laughs> your parents are giving you money where from the house why are you going to hustle then you the teacher or a house master will catch you like why do you have to go down and punish you? It's something that I think we should back up from there. Like, I mean, gambling is, is for the, I mean, when you are done with school or something, when you have enough money to invest, and that's when you go in for gambling. Okay, but then this is something that I want, I want to advise the young Carmen or whoever is in school right now to, I mean, put him or herself in. Yeah. Okay, so most of the candidates um, buy forms for, um, the universities, training colleges and all. And then some of them are influenced by their parents to choose courses they don't like. So with that, how would you advise such a person in such a situation? My network was lagging, so unless you repeat yourself again, sorry for okay. that. I said um, most of the WASI candidates buy forms for the universities, training colleges and all. And then some, most of these people are also influenced by their parents to choose programs they have no passion in. So what advice would you give to such a person in such a situation? Yeah, my advice is let your, let your parents understand what you really want to become, what you are really passionate for. Yeah, so that I mean, they can give you the support because if you, if you don't educate or maybe probably tell your parents about it, they will tell you what what will what will be good for them or some way. So you just have to educate them to oh man, this is what you really want to become. Just push me to this side for me. Yeah, just tell them what you are passionate for. Yeah. So what is the general advice you would give to all senior high school students? <laughs> My advice is like uh I mean, education first. You can't, you can't be so popular and you don't have educational background or your educational background is poor. So my advice is learn, learn whilst you're in school right now. The fun is out here. So <laughs> let's kill it and come and have fun. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think I am done with the questions for your senior high school. Let's come yeah. to your present life now. How do you see yourself in the next five years? I see myself to be hosting programs on TV. Yeah, getting nominations abroad. Yeah, the ambitions are way higher. So yeah, you work towards it. <laughs> so do people see you outside and then notice you and be like, oh, this is Quentin, I think I know him. Do people see you and given such oh, impressions at all. It's all the time. It's, it's fun. So, <laughs> you, try, you try to, I mean, dodge them or try to say that it's not you, but you lie. Oh, tell them it's not you. Well, at times, I, I do. I be like, you know, what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but yes, too, they'll be like, ah, so you mean, then they'll bring out their phone. You mean you don't know this person? Hey, you don't know him. Hey, oh, hey. Why, don't, why don't you want them to know it's you? It's, it's, I don't know, maybe their way of approaching me is such weird kakra. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. Okay, so do you like all this fame you've gotten now? Yeah. 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 How do your um, course mates and then your school mates relate with you now? Uh, <laughs> it be like, well, of late today, you do push show, you do push show. When you go do videos together, when you go do videos together, and hey, <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much for joining. And yeah. Just give us your last words. And... Yeah, my last words for you all watching me is high school life is fun. Uh, I'm glad to be part of your community. And the high school people, I mean, Charlie, it's fun. I mean, when you come, you no know, matter how much you hate your school, you come out from school and you miss school. 
do you get it uh -huh. so please be yourself i know say at times we say um don't give up don't give up some what's your bread but then wherever you're you're passionate please don't give up just keep doing that because uh, me me for instance i didn't stand up boom then become like this i did that until i was recognized so just don't just don't let anything tarnish you keep doing you yeah okay so have you been receiving criticisms with the kind of video ideas you bring out acting all girly and stuff do you receive criticisms yeah i do receive I mean, uh, there's there's a way that they say no one is perfect. So no matter what, now we you know, uh, uh, like even if, if you do video, eh, uh, and uh, go and give it to God for you to master everything and bring it back to earth. Some people will hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, at times I receive all those criticisms. Like, hey, he is tending to female. Like, gradually, gradually, the guy is tending to female. Uh, and hey, and hey. Are you a girl? Are you a boy? Uh -huh, those things. Yeah. But it's just few negativity. So what advice would you give to someone, maybe a teenager or someone at all, who is trying to make videos and create content, but then it's not re receiving the necessary views and the likes he or she is expecting? Yeah. Um, I went to a TV show and they asked me just a similar question like this. I always say the sky is so big enough to fit anyone up there. So um, we are all trying to put our heads up there. So if you give up, it means you are fed up that you backed off. But if you keep pushing one day, one day, you'll be recognized since you didn't give up. That's it. So keep doing it, keep doing, keep doing. And watch more. Me, I get my inspirations when I, went, uh, when I watch more. So keep watching more and you're a star. You'll become a star. Yeah. We all want to become stars like you. <laughs> Yeah. thank you so much for joining i'm really glad to have you and i really enjoyed this show thank you all so right. much yeah. <laughs> also grateful for being here yeah thank you so have a good night come out thank you too bye <laughs> bye Hello guys, um, we are done with today's episode of the live chat. My name is Sally and I hope to see you all in next week's episode. <laughs> I've seen many requests here but I think I'll end the live now and then I'll come back later. Thank you all for joining. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining i'm really really happy with the numbers so till we meet next week it's goodbye high school live <laughs> <laughs>